a lot of people speculate that the big tech companies are going to dominate the financial services in the next five years. Today we're going to talk about it. Rohit, everyone wants to know your opinion on this big question. Is big tech or big finance going to win out in the next five years? My take looking at it right now today, I would give it a 60-40 chance. I will say 60% is now in favor of tech. Two years back it was like not even, it was on the other side, you know, 2080 kind of stuff. So it has become 60-40 already. And I think the banks need to get their act in place quickly while the tech companies still lack a lot of expertise on risk, compliance and all that. They will get it. I think banks have a bigger challenge today to change their mindset, change their tech stack, change their ability to do things faster and better and multitasking. What do you really make of tech companies that are providing financial services today? In the last five years, uh, what has happened is that a lot of big tech companies, especially outside of US like Ant Financial, Tencent uh, and even Xiaomi which is a big cell phone company, have started deeply foring into financial services. And in my view, that uh, march in the financial services is going to speed up even more. Having said that, it's very important for these tech companies also to realize that financial services is not just lending money or giving some wealth management solutions to the clients. It's also a lot about risk management. And that's where I foresee a lot of pain for the tech companies, while in terms of distribution, in terms of customer experience, in terms of platform, they will be very good. You know, every customer is not a good customer in financial services. So that's very different from an e-commerce play or some of the other uh, you know, spaces that they have been dealing with. And that is very important for them to understand that while they have to manage the customer experience and the customer expectation, they also have to manage the risk expectation of the investors or the money from where it is coming. A lot of people have said that the financial industry will be the last one to crack because of the barriers to entry and the regulation. Are there really barriers to entry here or is it all just hand waving? Uh, in last one year actually the regulation is actually starting to hurt banks more. So regulation was a great moat for most of the banks to defend themselves and not to change. What we are starting to see is the customer behavior is changing at such a rapid pace and there is so much of capital available out there, there is so much of other pools of resources available and the amount of uh, venture money and the private equity money which is starting to come into fintech space uh, in the last six months I've seen tremendous amount of acceleration. Uh, I think one of the key things is that for large banks they have to invest more in technology but they also become, have to become more collaborative with fintech players they have to have less of these procurement issues onboarding issues that takes forever and they need to change their mindset a lot of the it people in banks still try to dictate terms to fintech firms they're still trying to say okay this is the way we want to do fintech that's not the way they have to become more like students now you know they are behind they're totally behind in this cycle and they are not understanding the customer expectations still Build, buy, or acquire, which one it should banks be following? I think they have to do all three. They don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. And I think build is getting less and less of a choice. Build was a choice two, three years back. Some banks tried, they haven't really succeeded. I've not seen one single bank globally actually su succeeding with a build strategy till now. My take for banks is that they will have to go pretty fast because they're losing a lot of their very profitable business and they're also losing, or they're not able to attract a lot of very smart people. So it's an arms race to uh, build and protect their profitable business and at the same point of time, attract high quality people.